Hi, this is Bao Kang Lu for Relic Bay Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make six pack ring pendant lights. So I was getting coffee at work one morning in the kitchen and I happened to look down and I spotted a big stack of six pack rings on top of the trash heap. I thought that was such a big waste because they get used once and then thrown out. They're really pliable, I think the shape is really cool, and they're translucent. I thought they would make a really cool pendant light. These are the materials you need. 66 pack rings, 4 wire ties, and you can get these from your vegetables or dry cleaning. The lid of one large plastic takeout container, one aluminum soda can, a LED light bulb, and don't use an incandescent because those will melt your plastic. And then a pendant light kit. Tools you need are two binder clips. If you don't have binder clips, use clothespins. Those work great as well. A pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife, a pointed permanent marker, one ruler, an average sized mug, and a Dremel tool with a small drill bit. Let's start with the frame. First, take your pendant light socket, place it in the middle of the lid, and with your permanent marker, trace it. Do the same with your mug, but remember to tape the bottom so that you don't mark it up. Next, use your ruler and create four evenly spaced spokes. They should be around 3 eighths of an inch wide. So what you'll get is something that looks like this. Next, take your X-Acto knife and cut out the spokes. What you should end up with is a ring for your socket, four spokes, and a rim to hang your six-pack rings from. Using your scissors, cut the rim in the middle between two spokes. Take the two ends and snap them back together with a one-inch overlap. And using your Dremel tool, drill two holes about a quarter of an inch inside of the one-inch overlap. Unsnap it. And then repeat those for all the other spaces. Take a six-pack ring, and you'll notice that there is a convex side and a concave side. Fold the six-pack ring in half so that the concave side is inside the fold. Holding it this way, you'll notice that there are two big holes and a small hole at the top. String the six-pack ring on the rim through the small hole. You'll need to string 15 six-pack rings in each section. So I've already started in this section. There are seven six-pack rings. And as you start working, you'll notice the rings tend to want to slip off. To stop that from happening, use a binder clip or a clothespin and clip them on the end of the rim. After you finish stringing 15 six-pack rings in one section, snap the rim back together. Take one wire tie and remove the covering. Take the wire and pass it through the two holes in the rim, twisting the ends together to close. This will hold the rim in place. Remove the binder clips or the clothes pins, and then you can work on your next section. Use your X-Acto knife to cut the top and bottom off the aluminum can. Now put it on its side and flatten it down. Use your scissors to help you crease the edges of the side. Open the can back up and it should snap apart. If it doesn't, Flatten and open again. Once you have two pieces, keep folding and snapping them in half until you end up with strips that are about a quarter of an inch wide. Snap all your strips in half, and then at one end, create a quarter inch hook. Now earlier I told you to fold your six pack rings in half, so there are two large holes and then one smaller hole at the top, while at the other end there's a fold and two loops. So on your pendant light, rotate one of the six-pack rings so the fold is pointing upwards. And then an adjacent six-pack ring, rotate it so that the fold is pointing downwards. You need to do this to all the six-pack rings around the rim. Take one of the center loops, flipping it down and away and back towards you. Do that to a second loop next to it. Now take a metal strip and hook two adjacent sides of the loops together. 
wrapping the loose end around to keep the loops together. This is what your six pack ring should look like after all the loops are connected. You need to connect all the loops on the bottom as well, but you won't have to flip them. The last step you'll have to do is put the socket through the ring in the top and screw in the light bulb. That's it. Hang it anywhere you need a little bit of contemporary cool. For tips and more projects, visit relevedesign.com. This is Bao Kong Lu for Releve Design. I hope you join us next time.